Memories of Horace's Garden. We find ourselves in an abandoned garden. Rich loam built up by years of leaf litter. Dead things piled up and left to ferment. There are fallen trees across the flagstones. When I reach their mossy edges, I can feel the gaps in our conversation telling me to about face and return along the path. This is a tricky manoeuvre for me. I am all elbows and cuff buttons. When I try to gesture around these obstacles, my sleeves become caught on branches. You never seem to get snagged. Maybe these visions are intangible if you don't go looking for relics. But in this place of dust and mulch and fractured patios, I see a wine bottle preserved by the gods of the wild places. And over there, a pair of names carved into the brickwork is highlighted by summer's penultimate afternoon. At one time, there was a celebration here. People in loose-cut clothing sat on cushions they had found in their grandfather's library. They sipped from smiling glasses and chatted in unhurried voices about paintings, about bumblebees, about snacks with delicate flavours. They did not discuss the war. With each splash of conversation, they remembered speeches made by serious men and then promptly forgot them when the shyest of their number told a funny anecdote. They filled their glasses from a jug their host had bought in northern Greece and sipped Italian wine. They recited gentle stories to each other and flirted with glances until the sunset. My friend, I am not ignoring your worries. Your tears are important to me, but it is vital that you know all of this really happened. I am telling you because years ago I found snatches of it sprinkled in a book of ancient poetry. I am sorry to have taken so much of your time, but the future is rushing towards us, and this reconstructed moment is the only way I know how to share with you the way it felt, the precise moment I realised that one day soon, the noisy business of the world will simmer down to a pause. When it does, you and I will once again be free to sip wine sit at leisure with our friends and pluck a perfect moment.